I wondered how Sean Olmstead, the head coach of the BYU women's volleyball team, could ever outdo his last performance on BYU Sports Nation. <laughs> he cannot. <laughs> I think he or might can today. He? With the get up today. Look at that sweet hat. What okay. Is, what is that hat? <laughs> it, it's one of my favorites, actually, and I get complimented all day on it. The flat brim. That's good for those it's people. It's waterproof. It's waterproof. <laughs> See, it's waterproof. Yeah. And so in Put case, in on, case I'm in a flood, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm taken care of. I'm, all, I'm set. I'm what's, set. What's up with the mustache? Well, it's, uh, as, it's a, my, as a former mustache wearer. What's yeah, up I remember that. I remember yeah. that. So the playoffs, you know, you got the playoff beard when you're going into the baseball playoffs. So mm-hmm. we're going into the playoffs. So th- I can't have a beard here at BYU. Uh, and so it's my playoff stash. So uh, we'll see how long we can uh, keep this thing rolling. Has the honor cr- uh, code approved of this quote unquote well-groomed mustache? Is it, it is. Okay? Well, it's well groomed. It's cu- it's above my lip. I, I've <laughs> measured it. I I, I, I took time to manicure it's this. The, you well, took, it's right. It's right there. It's so at the it, lip. Yeah. You're, you're one of those borderline guys. I aren't was you? with Tom Homo, Brian Santiago <laughs> last night, and Janie, and and they all complimented the mustache. They, so mm. that means uh, you know I feel fairly uh, BYU approved right okay. now. I'm glad that you feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to get together and have some fashion discussions. Anytime, Sean. anytime. I, I, yeah, anytime. Leave, leave me out of that. I don't need to do that. I'm, <laughs> I'm okay being left out of that one. <laughs> the head coach of the BYU women's volleyball team on BYU Sports Nation, Sean Olmstead, headed to the NCAA tournament. And I'm in, I have a microphone, and I can say this because uh, I'm not a coach or a player, but I think it is malarkey that you are not hosting. Okay, so I just want, I just want to put that up. Yeah. That, that's my opinion. You're in in kind of the exact same scenario you were last year. Uh, if you win, you play against the 11 seed, which yeah. Hawaii was last Hawaii year. Hawaii was last year. Yeah, so it's very similar. Um, you know, I, I went into that thinking either thing can happen. I, I, I think we put together an outstanding record. It would have been nice to beat a, a Colorado State or a Washington, and we had those opportunities, and we were close in both of them. But uh, I, I, I figured it was 50-50. And then with volleyball, it's very regionalized. They mm. want to keep things, you know, look at Colorado State. They have three Colorado teams going up to Colorado State. So mm. I, once I saw, for example, I saw Utah get – I knew they'd be in the tournament. Once I saw them get getting sent away – I, I, I immediately, okay, we're going somewhere. And I, I said, because my coaches, they're smarter than I am, they said UCLA or Arizona, we're going to one of those two, and we're going to Tucson. So we're excited. What was your initial reaction as you work all season for that moment that you had last night, which is, hey, we're in. Yeah, and, and I told the girls, I, I, I told them when, when we were done at LMU that night, a couple of the girls went different directions. for the. We gave them a couple of days off, and I just told the girls, expect to be on the road. Don't expect to be at home because mm-hmm. I didn't want them to be, oh, my gosh, so now we've we got to go on the road. I told them, expect to go uh, be at home or be on the road, and I told them, also, before you go home to see your friends and family and loved ones, you better have a response because everyone's going to be asking you what's going to be, and your response is going to be, we're going on the road somewhere. You know, we need to have that mindset. And so uh, I'm comfortable with this. I'm excited about it. That said, BYU as an underdog, you're, you're a tough out, and everybody knows. I was reading up on some, on some uh, BYU or some volleyball blogs across the NCAA last night, and the region that you play in, you have an opportunity to, to make a run. And those teams know what you're going to bring. You have two All-Americans on the same team. So even though you're not home, are, are you okay with, with who you're playing and where you are? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I like that. Uh, I figured, I, I remember the Washington coach before we played, they said, you know, you're going to beat us at home. You're going to beat us at BYU. We didn't. But he said, but we'll get you in the Washington Regional. He, he predicted that months ago that we'd be <laughs> sent to Seattle, and we are. And so uh, I really like I like what we've got going. I really like who we're going to play, and, and we'll start with Seton Hall, and then we'll just go from there. But we're, we're ecstatic, and I told the girls that, and they know that I'm sincere and that I'm not making it up. I, I'm a, perfectly okay with this, and they're going to be a good team. Arizona's third in the Pac-12. That's one of the best volleyball conferences in the country, probably the best. I don't think anybody else got 10, I think 10 teams they got in. Holy mackerel. And, uh, yeah, so, so who else is going to get that many teams out of their conference? And so we're excited about it. It's really a really good opportunity for us. Thursday night, five mountain time in Tucson uh, against Seton Hall. And then the winner of that plays Arizona or Yale. Awesome. It could be Y versus Y. That's yeah, probably not going to happen. I get that all the time when I'm recruiting. Hey, yeah. what's Yale? your test scores got to be to get into your school? And I'm like, yeah, really, really high. Forget about <laughs> it. <laughs> but I get that all the time. Trust me. Um, is, is it Sweet 16 or bust because you have many of those players from the last two squads that went to the Sweet 16? 
Yeah, but, you know, a lot of people on the outside want to think that, but we can't have that mindset because, I mean, Arizona's good. Don't get me wrong. Right. This is not going to be easy. And Seton Hall. On their home court. Yeah, they're, they're at home. They get to stay there. They don't have to travel. You know, we're figuring out our travel right now. It's not even finalized. And so we've got to worry about that. We've got to get there to Tucson. We've got to play. And and so it's not going to be easy, but this is what that's what those girls want. They came back thinking, hey, we've got to go a step further. And so that's... That's their ultimate goal, um, but you've got to take it step by step. And we haven't said anything about anybody beyond Seton Hall, trust me. In our meetings with our team, the little we had last night when we did pull them aside and meet, all of our attention's on Seton Hall, and then we'll go from there. And so it's a little, it's a little uh, different, and, but it's also how we've rolled this entire season. We've never looked beyond any opponent. We've respected and, and taken every single match, match by match, and that's it. 98 wins as the head coach in four seasons. You have an opportunity to get to 100. Did you did you imagine that you would uh, near the century mark in your fourth season? I, I mean, I, I know you probably don't believe me or what, viewers. I, I I didn't even know. I didn't know I had 98. I I, I swear on everything on, on my sweet dear wife that's watching and <laughs> hopefully not throwing my shoes away as we speak. Enjoying you know, your hat. Enjoying, enjoying my hat. Combo. You know, the the mustache and everything. But uh. I didn't know I was at night. I really didn't. And, and no, I, I mean, I, I had visions of great things at BYU because uh, I believed if we got things in the right order, which I believe we have, that we could be very successful. And that goes back to my head coach, Carl McGowan, told me that when I came here as an assistant, you know, if you put things in proper order and you get things rolling, you're going to be you can be very successful here at BYU. And so we've shown that. And, you know, it puts a lot more pressure to keep that going, you know, because all of a sudden, sooner or later, we're going to lose a match. And sooner or later, we're going to lose a couple in a row. And uh, we'll see uh, how all our fans support that and understand that that's part of the entire process. And that happens to every team. But I believe we've got some great kids. We're recruiting great kids to continue on with this success. In the midst of your pursuit of, you know, getting as far as you can in the tournament, have have you taken the time to appreciate with the team of what you did this season? 25 and 4, top 14 all year, WCC champs. Can you enjoy that at some point or is it like next thing, next thing? Next it, thing? It's hard and we've we've done our best, you know, we kind of had tried to kind of close the doors in in a couple different locker rooms and just go, you know, you guys sit back and look at your teammates in the eye and it gets real sentimental, you know, and it, look what we've done. And, and uh, you sent me that text. I think it was you congratulating me. And I, I didn't know, again, I didn't know our, I kid you not. I did not know my overall record this year. And, and, uh, you know, now I can, when people say that to me, I can sit there and go, I mean, it's pretty darn remarkable That's what amazing. these kids have done. And so I don't think they get the credit because everyone expected, oh, Jen's coming back. Right. You've got Alexa Gray. You've got these kids. You went to the Sweet 16 without her. But to yeah. be able to just go out there and still do it when the target has been is bigger than it's ever been, it's amazing. It, it is remarkable. And I try to tell these kids that I really do. But then, like you just said, I'm still preparing for matches, so it's like, hey, forget, you know, don't worry about that. What's done is done. Let, let's get on to the next match, and we've got an opponent coming up, and, and anybody from here on out is going to be good. I mean, Seton Hall deserves to be in the NCAA tournament because they've put in the work and they have the wins. So we've got it. We know that they're, they're a worthy opponent. We go from there. I think we should give some karma. Yes, the, we deliver you the BYU Sports Nation karma to go <laughs> Thank and you. handle Seton Hall. Thank you. I love your hat. And Arizona. And I love you, I love your mustache game. <laughs> we'll see what we can. And the WC. You know, I did represent the WCC Championship t-shirt. So uh, I, I would have gone neon, but I went with that. Sean Olmstead, great to have you. Thanks, guys.